Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing another bargain book haul. So lately I have been to a couple different book civilians and a thrift store in my area. So I have collected a few books and I thought I would share them with you today. So all of these were either from the bargain section or like I said, from the thrift store. I found some surprisingly amazing things, and let's get into it. First I have The Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert. This book is so ridiculously shiny, like that's what mainly attracted me to it. Um, but also, when I was reading the description, and then I ended up doing some research on it on Goodreads, it actually sounds pretty similar to a story idea that I have. So I feel like I need to read it to make sure that I don't accidentally write something similar. But this is about a girl whose grandmother wrote a book of fairy tales. So then this girl's mother goes missing and she ends up having to go into these forests called the Hazelwood and she finds out that it's real, it wasn't a made up place after all. And creepy adventure type stuff happens in it and it sounds very interesting. It's also very shiny and it intrigued me. And my idea is kind of similar involving a fairy tale book and someone going into that fairy tale world. So I was like, I better make sure I don't accidentally copy something without knowing. Next I have The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes, the sequel to A Book of Spirit and Thieves, which is the companion series to The Falling Kingdoms series, which is I'm currently obsessed with it. It's one of my new favorite series. I just finished reading that series and so I cannot wait to read the companion novel which takes place, it's like about a girl from the modern world who ends up I think in the same magical world that the Fallen Kingdom series took place in and she goes on some sort of adventure. It sounded really fun and exciting. I recently picked up the sequel because I also found that in the bargain section and I cannot wait to read these. Next I found another sequel, Traveler. Oh, you can't even see it, it's so shiny. By Arwen Ellis Staten, which is the sequel to Seeker, which I forget what this is about actually. This girl has to become something called a Seeker, who seems like some, seems like a magical sort of police forced situation in a fantasy world. Then she finds out that being a Seeker is not actually what she thought it was going to be and everything she thought she knew turns out to be wrong and that's really all you get from the blurb but it sounds very exciting as a fantasy world I am assuming has some sort of magic as well and so I found the sequel to that in the bargain section and I thought I may as well pick it up because it looks really cool. I have not read this one yet. I really need to because I bought it like two years ago and yeah, I'm still very interested in it though. On to the thrift store finds. I found I found These Vicious Masks by Taran Schenker and Kelly Sekas. And this is a Victor set in like a Victorian London. The main character's sister disappears and she and then somebody claims that this main character has some sort of magical abilities and it sounds like she's like gets involved in like this society that uh okay so this guy claims that she and her missing sister have special healing powers she is convinced that he must be mad until she discovers that his strange tales of extraordinary people are true and that her sister is in graver danger than she feared so it's like a victorian era book with some sort of mystery going on and i love both of those things and some sort of magic in there as well and, and so it just it sounds really intriguing and I cannot wait to read it. Next I was shocked to find A Poison Dark and Drowning, the sequel to A Shadow Bright and Burning which is another trilogy that I recently read last year and I absolutely loved it. This is the second book in that series which is my favorite in the series and so I really wanted to have it just because I love the series so much and I am so happy that I found this for two dollars which is crazy. Next I found The Glass Sphere by Lauren De Stefano. I feel like I've seen this around booktube lately or maybe the sequel's coming out I've seen that around. This is also sounds very intriguing. It is a fantasy where people I believe can turn people into gemstones or something and there's the cursed prince involved. A world on the brink of war and a power of ultimate destruction 
And can she find a way to help the kingdom that has turned its back on her? Or will she betray her past and her family forever? Anyway, it sounded pretty cool. Um, it's a little confusing, the description, but like it sounds pretty cool and exciting and yep. And finally, I found Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, which is one of the Confessions of a Shopaholic series. I read the first four books in that series, and I have the fifth one, and so now I think this is, might be the sixth one. I could be wrong. But either way, I really enjoy that series. It's super fun. It's about this woman who has a shopping problem, and just how it affects various aspects of her life and causes much hilarity with everyone around her and it's just super fun and lighthearted and silly and uh, so I've just kind of been collecting them because I keep seeing them at the thrift store so this is just another one of those. But that is it for the bargain priced and thrift store books that I found. I think I have a lot of very interesting reads in there. I cannot wait to get to them hopefully soon. I would love to hear how your reading is going in the comments. Leave your most recent read, your most recent purchase or your most recent book that you rented from the library. I would love to hear what you've read or what you're interested in reading. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!